we're learning more about the Mardi Gras shooting that happened along St. Charles Avenue. Just hours ago, the family of the man accused in the shooting turned the gun over to police. Jacqueline Quinn explains why. All we're trying to do is show that this is what cooperation looks like. Lionel Lawnburn's attorney for Eddie Dingle is showing us the gun his client used to shoot and kill a man near St. Charles in First Street on Mardi Gras Day. We have no reason to hide the weapon. We have no reason to not provide the weapon to them. Burns and Dinkle's family delivered the weapon to detectives at New Orleans Police Headquarters around 6 this evening. Just hours earlier, Dinkle's family gathered to recall the events that led up to the shooting. He's running from the media into the street over there by my wife and my son. And at that point, I heard two gunshots, gathered my kids, and I left. Dingle's father, Brenton Coleman, says initially on Mardi Gras Day, Maurice Williams' family set up next to his. He then tells us at some point his other son, Devin Brode, had gotten into an argument with another man, and Dingle comes over and tries to stop the altercation. Well, at that time, he was struck with the pipe wrench. Coleman says both sons were then hit, and he shared these photos to prove it. Dingle's father believes his son shot Williams when he saw him charging at his mother. But according to the New Orleans police, the incident started out only as a verbal argument. What about the city saying that you're not supposed to bring guns? I believe there are ordinances. There's a, there's a lot of things you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to have grills on a parade route. People do it. You're not supposed to have um, ladders erected on a parade route. People do it. This is basic human safety. Dingle's family also questions the investigation, alleging police didn't interview enough witnesses and failed to properly find any weapons. Dingle's attorney wants the second degree murder charge dropped to manslaughter so he can prove Dingle was justified. That Mr. Eddie Dingle feared for his life. He had the right to defend third persons to which his mom and dad and the rest of his beautiful family and at that point, when we make that showing, he goes free. Police identified Dingle as the shooter last Wednesday. He turned himself in Friday. Jacqueline Quinn, Eyewitness News. And Dingle is in Orleans Parish Jail with a $250,000 bill. Now, we reached out to New Orleans police today, but they told us they could not comment further at this time.